On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> the following movie is rated I. Let's try these Pinguinos. Spanish snack. Kind of look like cupcakes. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> they taste like cupcakes. Not bad. Back up in Connecticut, and our trip was fairly smooth. Is it an accident or just stuck on the side of the road? Just stuck on the side of the road. Still just start slowing down now. Stay in the uh, in the hammer lane if you want to try and get through. I'm back from Florida boys made it home safely of course you saw the accidents on the way up never a dull moment when you're heading down the whole East Coast or any long trip like that before I left I did order this new case which looks in really good shape the only thing I noticed that's kind of odd is it has ATF in it other than that it's not in bad shape Someone's been in it. Hopefully, I could just switch everything over and put some fluid in it, and we'll be good. I'll clean it up a little better. Take the piston out of this one and the motor. I probably should have ordered a new motor while I was at it, huh? But this one's still working. And that should solve my trim should everybody likes a little trim once in a while don't they i know i do more than once in a while and yes it's raining again i did have this off once i know you can use atf or the brown hydraulic fluid i was always told you can't mix them because they'll foam i've actually seen it in person I don't know if there's anything different in the oils today, but I don't know if I should just go with ATF. Take my motor off. Don't want to lose that pin. So I'm sure you saw when I showed you this earlier, there was two broken screws. And of course I tried heating this up, trying to get them out, but they broke off flush, so I'm drilling them. Now I'm going to see, I know an easy out's not going to work, so I'm going to try to punch the thread to the middle and pull it out if it's possible. I mean, I, if I have to, I guess I can go up one size or get a longer bolt. Believe it or not, boys, I got it. Remarkable. Well, this one anyway. The other one looks like I got it too. We will see. Yep. We got them both, boys. Top of the hole might be a little sloppy. That's what she said. Or he said. So I'm going to use the ATF Plus 4 synthetic in here. I don't know if that's a good idea, but supposedly that replaces all the prior. So it should work. I guess we'll see, huh? <laughs> Putting my rod in. I don't think that's supposed to do that. Well, that could definitely be why. Now I look through my garbage. That is the piece. It's a poppet valve. And put that in there and try it. Nope. 
I have to take the other side out and look. All right, this was in this side. Learning as I go with you guys, whether we're going to be able to get this thing to work or not. Guess I got to see if there's a little ball behind that. It must be some kind of a check ball. I wonder if they messed with the pressure control on this. I should have looked at that first, right? Because <laughs> if that's missing, that's the bypass. Well, they did mess with the bypass. And that little hole right there goes to it. That's probably the problem. So the pump was probably fine. I'm going to, I guess I'll leave this and see if I can get that bypass screw out. I think this is just a pressure relief. I screwed it all the way in. It was still bypassing. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Huh. The bypass on the other pump is so corroded, I don't know if I'll even be able to get it out. Definitely looks like some kind of pressure relief. Huh. So I did pull that spring out. There's a little cup with a bearing behind it, which is right there. And that looks okay. I'm going to try putting it back together. I think this is like a where you open up the valve so you can lift the hydraulics up and down the piston. And it was loose and I think it's supposed to be tightened down, of course, so you can't move the piston. But at least I know what the pump looks like. I'm going to put the pump back in. Everything looks good. So put that back in, put this back in, tighten it up and see if it works. We're getting learnt today, boys. Getting learnt. Cheesy's hack shop. <laughs> so I tried putting that one back in. It doesn't seem like it's bottoming out. Oh yeah, it's raining again. It's raining. I'm not sure if you're gonna hear me over the rain. Maybe I better shut the door. I think I figured it out. Somebody had this out once and the threads were so tight, I don't know if they took it out of another unit. But I had to keep working the thread back and forth. It wasn't cross thread. It was just very, very tight. And I got this in all the way, bottomed out. And it worked. So I took it back apart, put a new O-ring. Because that one was kind of chewed up. I have an O-ring kit. A couple O-ring kits, actually. So let's see if this works. No more. No more leaky. So now let's put a little fluid in there and see if it pumps back and forth we'll get it bled out. Alright, after opening that bypass valve, pulling up and down on this piston as much as I could, I got a lot of air out but it still wasn't pumping. So I actually had to loosen the uh, pump plate up. A couple bubbles came out and she's working now. I think we got her boys. I'm going to go up and down a little bit, check the level, clean that lip off where the O-ring goes and put that motor on it. Looks like she's working boys. It's down all the way. Oh yeah. Little air. And go down with it one more time. And we'll check the fluid level. I didn't lose that much. Actually. 
put it on, I'm going to need it up quite a bit. So we'll raise it up a little. Right there. Pretty sure we got her now. No leaks. No leaks. That one screw, I got to chase it one more time. Feels a little stiff and I'm not going to force it. All back together. All the screws are in. Check the level. Had to top it off just a little bit. I think we're ready. Ready to throw it on. When the rain lets up enough, hopefully we'll get another voyage out on the water to give it a little test too. Good. She good. Jesus Christ. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.